Not the hand, bag full of medals that we sometimes expect you to, to go home with, but it was important for you to finish on a high by winning the, the lesser final there. Yeah, I mean, it was, for me at that point, it was a training race. I just got to get stuck in and get everything out. And um, I was really disappointed with my performances in the earlier rounds. I have to say I was a bit kind of uh, caught up in the way my legs were feeling rather than really just taking it on. And I was hesitant. And that's the worst mistake you can make in Kieran and I know that better than anyone so oh dear I know it wasn't my best uh, performance today. Anna Mears three gold medals she's really set the bar now hasn't she? She has um, I did it in 2007 so she's still catching up I think you'd like to say but I uh, know she did a fantastic um, competition um, this week she's had the best form of her life and I think she's really capitalized on it and and anyone would in the same position. Um, I feel that um, I don't feel too despondent about the whole thing because I know she didn't beat me in the best form of my life. Um, so, you know, I know I've got more to give, so I can't be too caught up in that and focus on her when, well, I know that w when the training goes right and the preparation's right, it'll come together. And I think the point was made in commentary, there's nothing like disappointment to fuel the hunger. Absolutely, and it is so hard being at the top for so long and I um, feel a huge pressure in wearing that jersey and. You know, like it's great to win it back and then you're like, you put it on the first race you go to and you're like, oh, I'm not going to get away with anything here. It's, it's hard work and maintaining it is much harder than gaining it. Um, and uh, it's something that we've talked about in the camp a lot. It's really hard when you're at the top to stay at the top. And it's kind of nice now to be chasing. I'm, I'm really going to look forward to getting stuck in and really building on this year's training season and, and hopefully finding that form I need, that form I know I can get going into next year. It's been something of an emotional roller coaster, you know. You've, you've said sometimes you do enjoy the race and you find a lot of yourself yeah. under quite a lot of pressure. Um, do you think you're going to be able to enjoy next year? I think so. I mean, I've been, I've spent a lot of time thinking about it this week. It's um, not a lot of sleep really, just thinking about what it is that's missing for me. And, and I think it finally comes down to the point that 2012 is so important to me that everything's kind of moved down a rung, like the worlds don't seem as important as they were. It feels like a World Cup. The World Cup feel like the Nationals. The Nationals feel like a track league. And you're like, wow, um, you know, wow, I feel flat. But then is it any surprise? Because at the end of the day, you know, the goal I'm looking for and the one I'm really aiming for is, a, is an Olympic medal. It's, none of this seems to, to matter in comparison. And, and whether I win or lose in London, uh, that is what I'm aiming for and that's what I'm dedicating my you know my time my training and everything about my you know, my whole life towards so that's the challenge and that's my goal well you're as candid as ever thank you very much for your time <laughs> thank well you thank you